Hello, my YouTube family. Well, it is Thursday, and yes, you do see me. It's Thursday. And I just finished speaking to Pop, but, you know, he's in his kind of, like, chill mode. He even told me that he's slightly tipsy because he was having just a couple of glasses of wine with his dinner. I don't know what that's about. But he does like his wine. I'll give him that much, but he's not, you know, like a, a wino. He just likes his wine. Okay, people, so it is Thursday, January 16th, 2014. Let us get started. Today is a combo, a very light pinkish combo because I know it doesn't really show, but my sweater is of a super baby pink shade. So um, I decided to do the whole pink cheeks, pink lips, except my eyeshadow, which I'm slightly disappointed about, is this. This is the e.l.f. Um, jumbo eye, eyeshadow stick. And this is in the color Check Me Out. And it's of a purpley kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a purpley kind of a shade. But even though I have the shadow insurance underneath it, it's still kind of creased a little. And I'm very disappointed about that. So I'm just going to probably use this as an eyeliner and not so much all over the eye so it doesn't crease that much. I'll just eyeline my eyes with it next time. But it is a shadow stick, so I used it as a shadow. But I'm um, disappointed in that particular situation. But I'm not not disappointed in the color because it's a nice, you know, it's a nice dark grapeish kind of a shade. I wish it were just a little bit darker. But since it's so creamy, I think even the shadow insurance can't stop it from creasing. So, there you have it. And as for the blush, the blush is a new one from, you know, my um, my hauls, my haulage. It is the Victoria's Secrets. Here it is, the Victoria's Secrets. And this one is in Meetup. This is Meetup. And let me open it for you. This is Meetup. It's kind of like a dark burgundy and a super powdery baby pink slash. So, you know, I just did one of these and then I just, and it has good, it has good coverage. It has, it's, it's not, you know, it's not, um, it's not light. It's got good heavy coverage. So I was happy about that. Came out rather nice if I may say so myself. And as for the combo on the lips, I lined with my old Clinique lip shaping pencil in raspberry. And I used my Clinique, it must have been, must have been a Clinique day, my Clinique chubby stick in super strawberry. Got the raspberry and the strawberry. And then I topped it, gave it a little gloss with my Urban Decay Triple Shine in Joyride. There you go, Joyride. An oldie but a goodie. These triple shines, I don't know if they still, if Urban Decay still sells the triple shines, but you know my stuff is old, right? The original packaging and everything. These have like that minty, plumpy kind of feel to them, but it goes away like almost as soon as you put it on your lip. Like you feel it, it gives you a little sting and then you know, and then it fades instantly. It doesn't last like some others. This one doesn't last at all. You just feel it instantly and then it just goes away. So that is that. Now, the reason why I had to use the topper is because this is so damn light. I mean, it really is, people. Look at how light that is. I mean, you can barely see it. It's like it, it's a stain. It just leaves a stain. So it was, and I'm really like rubbing it on. And that's as dark as it's going to get. So seeing that it was so light, I had to, you know, put this on top. And this has like a roll-on kind of a top. And since I just squeezed it, I will. And it's light also. But it's, a, it's, it's more glistening. It's like a glistening pink. See, there it go. It's more of a glistening pink. So I just, you know. Didn't even need like a, a lip brush or anything. It just kind of just goes on and just, there you go. Leaves a nice sheen, a nice shine to it. 
but it can go on the street corner hookup. So you have to be kind of careful with the um, type of coverage that you want for this because this can definitely get, it's called triple shine. And it's, if you notice the triple X, enough said. So there you go. So it's pretty much telling you on the street corner hookup straight off the bat. And that is that, people. That is all. That is lips of the day. I have nothing, no stories. Cutie is wa working like a beast. I mean, it's a new year, people. The holidays are over. Fa la 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 la. Gone. No more fa la 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 la. It's like new year, time to get to work. So there's, you know, no cutesy stories, no QT stories. I have seen booty, but I can't call him booty anymore, people. Because he's lost his booty. He really has. It used to be nice and round and firm. And either he's, because you could tell he works out. But he's probably working out to, to, to decrease his booty. Maybe he didn't like his booty. You can't be thinking about you all the time, booty. What about me? I need something to look at. He don't know, though. But, you know, as he walked away, I would always go, wow, that is a booty. Well, he didn't like his booty, apparently. So now it's not. I mean, it's still round and firm, but it's not. It was not tight. and Because the pants that he used to wear. And I know it's not a different kind of pants that he's wearing. You could tell that his booty has gone a little smaller. It's just gotten a little bit smaller. And I mean, the pants are still fitting. They're just not as, mm, they're just not as hugged around the curves like they used to be. So that's a slight disappointment for 2014. Other than that, I mean, I'm glad to see him and everything, but you know, he used to have an extra something to look at. And now that that extra something is no more, I mean, I guess I could talk to you. <laughs> you know, I'm just. <sighs> okay, people. So that is that with that upon that. I mean, this is really super short and to the point. And, you know, now I have to start getting creative with the lips because, as you know, the only two new lipsticks I already showed you, Shameless and Venom from Urban Decay, the Revolution lipsticks, I've done them. Those were the newest lipsticks that I bought. Everything else is either an eyeshadow, an eyeliner, a mascara, or a blush. And you know, I haven't even touched on the major blushes that I bought. The Coastal Scent blushes, I haven't, I haven't even touched on them yet. So you'll be seeing a lot of new blushes on me, and they probably will just pretty much all look the same. But I just need to show you. So there you have it. Um, that's that. Um, he is over here. If you want to take a look, Let's see, he's just chilling. There he is, giving me his back. You see how much weight he's gained, right? He's not. I'm not the only one that has to go on a diet. I'm just saying, people. Hold on. Oops. There we go. So, yeah, um, the food that I am feeding him, I have to feed a little less. And after I'm done with this, because, you know, I buy those three-pound bags. And he's just a small thing to begin with. So, for a three-pound bag, it lasts almost two months, two or three months. Because he just nibbles, and then he drinks, and he calls it a day. And then maybe another hour later, he nibbles. But he never... Like in one felt swoop, he never cleans the entire plate. Even when he's done for the night, in the morning, I know there's still a little left. So, you know, he saves me money, actually, because he doesn't like gobble, gobble. Because when remember the last time he did gobble, gobble, and boy, did he pay for it and I paid for it. Threw it right up. So I make sure that I don't give him a mound of food anymore. He's just... He's, well, he can't be eight pounds anymore because when I originally had him, he was eight pounds. He's got to be at least mm, nine, nine and a half, ten now. So I don't want him to get too out of hand. So um, right now I'm feeding him, I'm mixing the food because he seems to like the mixture. Iams, Healthy Naturals, um, believe it or not, Salmon. He doesn't really like seafood, but he's eating this one mixed with the Fancy Feast. Now, I've read that Fancy Feast is like, you know, it's like, how can I say, junk food. 
junk food for cats. But the mixture of the healthy naturals, the I am's healthy naturals, and the fancy feast, he seems to enjoy that, even though it's it's seafood, they're both seafood flavors, ocean white fish. And he doesn't gobble it as much as the chicken or beef, but since I already bought him, you better eat. You better eat them. So he is eating slowly but surely. But I believe the next time after he's done with this, these three pound bags, I will um, stick to chicken and beef. He seems to really enjoy chicken and beef. And I will feed him a weight control. Weight control. Indoor food for cats. Weight control. So, yeah, we're going to have to put you on a diet, honey. It's not, it's not only me, okay? It's not only me. And my face is still as round as they come, but I am eating... I'm eating my salads, people. I haven't eaten a burger in I don't know how long. I do miss it, though. And I miss my fries. But I'm surviving. I'm surviving. However, you know when you go on sites, on like TGIF sites or Applebee's sites, well, there is a there is a salad, a salad on Applebee's site called the Fiesta. I know the first word is Fiesta. I think it's Fiesta Chicken Cob Salad. I think that's what it's called. And it just looks good. It's Fiesta Chopped, Fiesta Chicken Chopped Salad. That's what it's called, I think. Pretty much. Fiesta chicken chopped salad. And it's a chopped salad. And it's got all of these goodies and onions. And and, and it, it just looks good, you know? I think there's an Applebee's near my job. For, I don't know if I'll have time to go in and have lunch and come back. Because it's a bit of a drive. And then, of course, you have to find parking. And during lunch hour, I know they're probably crazy. So I may go after work. I just want to taste it, people. Because if it, if it tastes, and it says like it's kind of spicy, because they have a spicy sauce on, like a spicy vinaigrette on to, to top it off. And if it tastes the way I think it does, and it is a salad, I may, I may, you may see me late tomorrow. Because I may have dinner there. By myself, I don't care. Just me, bring a book while I'm waiting for my food and eat my salad and call it a night. I've done it before. If I can go to the movies by myself, I can go to any restaurant by myself and I don't have to have that pathetic look. I can whip out my book. I don't care who's looking at me. I don't care who feels sorry for me. Whatever. Give me my food. Let me pay for it and let me call it a night. No, gone are the days when I would just feel all self-conscious about, I can't go to the movies by myself. I can't go to the restaurant by myself. See, when you mature and you get older, your your train of thought changes. And it, you get to that point where, look, I'm old enough and mature enough and comfortable in my own skin to not care whether I'm walking in by myself or not. You know, I know that the cute little thing that's standing at the door. How many? One. Don't don't give me the, the, the up and down look like, oh, you poor thing. I don't care. If you want my money, then you will show me to a table. He is scratching up the carpet. And sit my ass down and so I can eat. Okay? And I may even have the um, boneless wings as an appetizer. Oh, damn, my mouth is watering already. The boneless wings as an appetizer with the sweet and, sweet and spicy sauce. I like spicy food, people. What can I tell you? The, 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 the wings, the, the boneless wings that my cousin and Eric, my cousin Eric and I had on Monday. My mouth is watering. And then have that salad just to see what it tastes like. It's a salad, people. Okay? It's a salad. A salad for dinner. That would be the main entree. Okay? And if it tastes like what I think it does, I am going to enjoy this salad immensely. So go on Applebee's.com and go into the salad section. Click on that. And then look for the Fiesta Chicken Cobb Salad. Chicken Chopped 
chopped. I keep calling it a cob salad. It's chicken chopped salad. Fiesta is the first word. Fiesta chicken chopped salad. And just look at it. And whoever's had it, please let me know if y'all have had it already because it looks yummy. So if you see me a little late tomorrow, that will be the reason why. I'll tell you. I'll let you know. I'm coming home late. Or I came home late. It is late while I'm recording this. You know I will let you know. Okay, people, that is it. That is all. This is Lips of the Day. It's a combo. Face of the Day. Is it a face of the day again? Because I showed you my eyeshadow. I showed you. My mascara is of the is a regular. You know, I've you, you've seen me wear this one a thousand times. Power Volume Collagen by L'Oreal. So this is not a newbie. I've shown you the new eyeshadow. I've shown you the new blush and a combo lip. So I guess it is another face of the day. It's going to be a face of the day for a while. So there you have it. Now I have to start getting creative with the lips. But other than that, everything else will be new. So four down, one more to go. And uh, then there's, there's a three-day weekend, people. And of course, Saturday, I have to go for my MRI. So, you know, I will let you know on Tuesday. Because you know you're not going to see me over the weekend, right? It's not going to happen. And Sarah thinks she's cute. Sarah Facebooks me and says that I should make a video over the weekend to make up for the Monday and Tuesday that I wasn't on. Excuse you? You know I love you, girl. You 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 know I do. But no. So, um... You know, I don't want you guys getting too tired of me. If you don't see me a couple of days, I like to be missed. I like to be missed. I like the little messages of no video today. How come there's no video today? I do get those every now and then. I love it. I can see that I'm loved and I'm missed. I like to feel wanted, people. I like to feel wanted. I like to feel missed every now and then. So if a couple of days go by and you don't see me, maybe you miss me just a little bit. Just a little. Can I feel the love just a little bit? Because I don't want to overstay my welcome. You know what I mean? So on that note, that is it. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Let me know what you think about my cute little crystal ball in the back there. I have to be slick by putting it back there. Because every time I finish a video, I have to quickly put it away. I have to be slick when I put it out. Because I put it, I, I, take, it, I take it away from there as soon as I'm done with the video. Because I know Mr. Thing, he'll climb up and then he'll knock it over. And that thing is heavy. So I have to be slick when I put it up. I have to make sure that he's not around or he can't see what I'm doing. So then it sits there so he doesn't realize that, you know, oh, something's new up there. Like he did the last time. I got to be slick. So uh, that's it. Let me know if you like the little cute little background, you know, ambiance of a crystal ball. It's a cute little thing about this big. And I just I just like crystal balls. What can I tell you? Other than that, that's it. Let me know what you think about the lips. Let me know what you think about the whole look in general. And that is it, people. That is all. I will see you tomorrow, possibly late, because I'm really getting in my mind that, yeah, after work, I'm going to Applebee's. So that's that with that upon that. Okay. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.